So it was just yesterday where that bald guy took over the Pokemon company's Japanese Twitter account and basically dropped codes on the world, allowing us to get nine different Apricon balls inside a Pokemon Sword and Shield. Balls that are very difficult to get inside of the game, including the Beast Ball and the Dream Ball. We thought that was it. However, today on the Nintendo's news tab, on the Nintendo Switch, they dropped another code. The Pokemon Company dropped another code that allowed us to pick up 10 luxury balls inside of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. Today, I'm going to show you the code and basically get it and just talk about it. Let's talk about it because to me, I'm just like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted from the Pokemon Company active events going on constantly and for right now what it feels like daily moving towards Christmas these event codes are lasting until January so there are intended to be a limited time event but does feel rewarding for players getting the game early and actually using these balls and these apricot balls even though they only gave us one of each of those balls they are giving us 10 luxury balls now as you can see the code is on screen is basically present and if you don't know how to use the mystery gift function inside of the games it's very easy all you got to do is go to the x menu you press mystery gift and then you're going to go get mystery gift and it's going to say get with code or password you hit that it's going to say you have to be connected to the internet once you're connected to the internet you enter the code that's it and the code is basically present and that's it you get yourself 10 luxury balls now this does have to be done before january 30th 2020 i would just recommend you do it as soon as possible just to have these in the game do note that luxury balls can be bought in for three thousand pokey dollars inside of a store so it's not that crazy of getting 10 luxury balls also luxury balls can be bought in at special watt dealers on random days at random times if you find a watt dealer in the wild area selling luxury balls they can be bought for i believe like 300 watts or maybe like 100 watts or whatever but again this is giving us extra luxury balls inside of the Pokemon Sword and Shield games, which again is so dope. And I actually have like 999. So I want to see what exactly is going to happen when if you have 999 of the item and you get a gift that's going to give you 10 more because I know they didn't allow me to buy. So um, can I go back? It says, do you want to give up on this gift for now? Uh, uh, yeah, I want to give up right now. I just want to show you guys that I have 999 of the item. Luxury ball. See, look, I have 999 I, I, this is something i also wanted to test it's because the game doesn't allow me to buy more and it doesn't allow me to get more via the watt dealers and i don't think you can find any in the world so i th i'm gonna just check during this event let's see give you a code i already entered a code so do i have to enter it again i think i do let's see can i see the internet let's enter it again if it says i already got in the searching for gifts luxury balls it says receiving do not process Power, press the power button. Okay, showing the animation with the GIF opening up. Bada. Then say you got the 10 balls. Yep, I got the 10 balls. Now I'm gonna check my bag. It's either gonna show me with more than 999 or they're gonna do this where they don't give me the prize at all which I knew that was gonna happen. So don't, don't be me. Don't, don't max out your luxury balls and then do this event because you're not gonna get those 10 extra luxury balls. Now, the reason why I've done this and something I wanted to test and show you guys as well um, is that when you get a whole bunch of luxury balls, the reason why I have 99999 luxury balls is because luxury balls, again, can be bought in at Poke Centers for $3,000 and they could be sold. So when you go, Go to the wild area and you buy luxury balls for watts you can buy a ton of them for cheap again and it's so good to take those watts and then transfer them into pokey dollars which you can use to buy clothing items and stuff like that and i'm currently working on a complete set of all the clothes inside of the game so what i'm gonna do is i'm here to sell and basically sell all of these luxury balls and it's like how many you want to sell i want to sell 999 and look how much you get for selling 999 which is incredible you put yes and then voila look at my money literally just like double <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I love it. And then, to be honest, I don't use the luxury balls pretty much for anything. Now, with this extra money, I could buy a ton of like protos and stuff like that for my Pokemon if I'm EV training them and making sure their stats are incredible. This is a great way to do that as well and to buy all the TMs and all the stuff that you need to buy for the post game to train your Pokemon. You can also do that as well. That's why I wanted to incorporate in this video and not just make it just about the 10 luxury balls. It's just about what you can do with the luxury balls that make them so great and unique inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield because I was going to make a luxury ball video by itself of me getting the Watts and getting them inside of the game. But I thought this was so much perfect timing. Let me fly to the guy. Let's see if he's still there selling the Watts because he was at the meetup spot right at the beginning of the wild area. So let's see if he's still there. Yeah, he is. But let's see if he's still selling the luxury balls. Um, and yeah, he's still selling luxury balls for again, a hundred Watts. And then you sell it if you get 999 of them, like you could sell it for so much money. Now I'm not going to do it now because I do need some wishing pieces. So do do it accordingly. But again, it's so easy to get Watts inside of the wild area. You literally could, could just go up to any Pokemon den and get yourself like 200 Watts. So again, this method of getting money is incredibly useful inside of these games and does not feel broken because you still got to get the Watts. You still got to go to each den, you know, yourself and actually grab the Watts out of them. What you do with the Watts is what you do with the Watts. I'm using them to buy luxury balls and then just selling them out for a profit that I think is a profit. Having Poke Dollars is more valuable to me than Watts. But that's going to be all for this video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this 10 luxury ball gift. Do you want the Pokemon company to do more events like this? They did it yesterday on their Twitter. They dropped three codes to get nine balls. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to have a card pop up somewhere in this video explaining that. And to me, this is great. Uh, hopefully, they do more code distributions like this. And again, these codes for Pokemon Sword and Shield are region free. So if they ever do a mystery gift code that is locked to a Pacific region for whatever reason, that's not going to be the case for Pokemon Sword and Shield because again, the codes are region free. It doesn't matter where region you're from. You can get these codes because the code got released on the Japanese Twitter account. No mention of it in the US, Australia, whatever, but those players around the world were able to redeem those codes. So again, that is pretty good. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts of these codes coming out worldwide. If you have any more questions about these luxury balls and how I got so much money inside of the Pokemon Sword and Shield games, let's talk about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking about the Pokemon Sword and Shield games and whatnot. So again, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video, ring the bell and hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Shield news update video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.